while Sumit Singh and Jenny Slatten would love to return to 90 Day Fiancé. Happily, ever, after. The list of reasons why the network may be hesitant to bring them back is a long one. Fans were first introduced to the couple on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season one. That's where they shared their unconventional love story with the world. Sumit is 30 years younger than Jenny. Sumit was married to another woman in India when they first started their relationship. Even with such a huge obstacle, Jenny decided to leave her life in the United States to move to India. She did this even though Sumit initially catfished her on Facebook, despite the significant age gap and Sumit being married to someone else. Their love story has lasted much longer than anyone could have imagined. Sumit's love for Jenny is strong, so he's had many difficult conversations with his family, who were initially against the unconventional relationship. He and Jenny got married in August 2021, even after his mother, Sadna Singh, threatened to disown him. Eventually, however, Sumit's parents finally came around, accepting Jenny as their daughter-in-law just like a majority of couples from the franchise, Jenny and Sumit met online, with Sumit catfishing Jenny in 2012 and pretending to be a 25-year-old British man. At the time, Jenny was living in California, falling hard for the person she thought Sumit was. Eventually, Sumit came clean, and Jenny still wanted to pursue a relationship after a long-distance relationship that lasted several months. Jenny traveled to India in 2013, where she met Sumit in person for the first time. She ended up staying there for several months, but it wasn't until 2019 that Jenny moved to India permanently. After a few months, Jenny learned that Sumit was already married to a woman his parents chose. It seemed like this might end their relationship after she learned about Sumit's marriage. Jenny returned to the U.S. They were apart for a few months then. Sumit assured her that he would get a divorce. Jenny returned to India and the pair lived together throughout the pandemic, despite Sumit's parents disapproving of the relationship. Above, via 90 Day Fiancé at YouTube, see Sumit trying to make his parents accept his older love interest eventually. Sumit's parents agreed to stop meddling in their relationship, and the couple tied the knot in a small ceremony without telling his parents. The pair have been together ever since. Now, their relationship is so stable that it might not make for exciting TV prior to the show. Jenny was living in Palm Springs, where she worked at a Marriott golf resort. She quit her job and had just $6,000 into her name when she moved to India to be with Sumit. She really was taking a leap of faith Sumit was a call center employee. He quit his job when Jenny moved in. He didn't want to work such long hours and leave her alone all the time. Because Jenny didn't know the language or any people, Sumit wasn't able to work full-time. He took a job as a chef at a friend's cafe and worked there for just a few hours a day. After the COVID-19 lockdowns, he had to stop working there. One way the pair might be making money is with their Cameo accounts. They offer fans the opportunity to order personalized video messages for a one-time fee, the two of them are currently offering video messages as a package deal, with rates starting at $59 and for a message. Plus, 90 Day Fiancé pays the couple for appearing in each episode, which may be how they get most of their income Sumit took to Instagram in October 2024 to reveal that him and Jenny were still very much in love. He posted a sweet message for his wife, along with a video of Jenny dancing after celebrating Holy. Fans flooded the comments with pleas for them to return to 90 Day Fiancé, with some referring to the pair as their favorite couple from the entire franchise after Sumit's family including his extremely stubborn mother accepted Jenny. Their storyline was a lot less dramatic, which may have made producers exclude them. In May 2024, Jenny publicly reached out to the official 90 Day Fiancé casting Instagram page and asked them to cast her again with this comment. Jenny wanted the casting team to know there have been a lot of developments in their relationship since leaving the show. Some fans replied to this comment by insisting the couple had become too boring for the series. They wanted to watch other pairs, who had more emotional highs and lows still, 
a lot of fans did watch the show because of Jenny and Sumit's dramatic relationship. So, even though things might be going more smoothly now, there are a lot of people who probably want to keep up with them. They haven't lost every bit of appeal since tying the knot and getting Sumit's family on their side, not a lot has changed for the couple. While it's great to see that there's no trouble in paradise, there isn't a good reason why producers should ask Jenny and Sumit to return to the show. They just aren't creating a sense of anticipation or excitement right now the pair was last seen on 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after. Season 7, when they finally revealed to his parents that they had secretly married. Sumit previously expressed his desire to become a parent, but he was adamant that they should raise the child in India rather than America. He said a child would probably help his family to finally embrace Jenny and their relationship the couple having a baby would definitely be a great storyline. That might be enough to get them back in the franchise. Being in her 60s, Jenny isn't what fans are used to seeing in a new mother, and that might make for interesting television. However, as the season went on, Sumit stopped talking about wanting to be a father, which might mean that the storyline wouldn't go anywhere. Unless they do choose to have kids, it seems unlikely they will actually return to 90 Day Fiancé.